The Louisiana College Wildcats have always been known as an office of power, but in Saturday's game, it was a different story as the defense racked up 10 sacks in a 38-7 route over the Bellhaven Blazers. Defensively, we played extremely well, kept them off balance for the most part all night. I think our rush was relentless and, and uh, just exactly how we want to play defense. A dominant performance by the defense provided the fuel for the Wildcats' high-powered offense. Defense, I tell you, we take our head off to them, man. They're the, they're the ones got our blood flowing and got us going because they was on the field first, got that three and out, so we had to come down and get them the momentum, and it was just back and forth, and we just kept feeding off each other, and that's, that's the way it was supposed to be. It's very comforting just knowing that you have a defense that, that'll go three and out at any given moment, but at the same time, as an offense, we have to put points on the board because without points, man, we can't we can't get a win. So as long as our defense is making stops, man, just give us more and more opportunities to, to make the score as high as we can. The offense had a nearly flawless debut by junior quarterback Alonzo Bellamy as he completed 15 out of 18 passes, including two touchdowns, and guided the Cats to an early 28 to nothing lead. Offensively, I thought Alonzo played an excellent first half for his first half as a starter. Uh, I thought we came out a little bit lackadaisical in the third quarter, but uh, other than that, I thought we finished the game well. I think our offense came out first first uh, half playing very with a high, lot of intensity. We came out already feeling great about the game. We've been ready to get everything going. I felt like it was just my time to show everybody that I'm here and I can lead this team, man. and that's what I did Saturday night. For senior linebacker Daniel Abair, Saturday's performance meant a little bit more than usual, and it will be a game that he will never forget. Emotionally, I was just I wasn't playing for myself anymore. I was playing for my team. I was playing for my grandfather. Uh, I just really wanted him to be proud for the last game. I know he still got to see it, uh, just not the way I planned it, and I really just wanted to make him proud. With an impressive performance against the Blazers, the Wildcats know just how good of a team they can be, but aren't satisfied as to where they're at. We have to look at what we did on Saturday as, as a stepping stone. I mean, we, we, we did take care of business, was that, but at the same time, we did leave a lot of points on the board that, that could have been made also. So as an offense, I think we just need to keep evaluating our opponent on film and just look forward to just executing the mistakes that we made in Bell's Haven game and just taking our offense to the next level. We saw a lot of mistakes that we had, and this week we're just going to get better, correct the mistakes, and go out there again this Saturday and do what we do. We, we have a set a plan. We have set things that we do week in and week out. We're not going to vary from that. We're going we're gonna to continue to play fast and, and uh, continue to do the things that we need to do uh, in order to win football games. Reporting for Wildcats Media, I'm Spencer Chrisman.